What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today more Jags franchise on the way for you as some interesting things have happened in real life and I know I'm the GM. I'm Gene Dangus, coach GM. I can make any decision that I'd like to but the Jags in real life traded Ronnie Harrison to the Browns for I believe a fifth round pick and I don't really want to like get rid of Ronnie Harrison because <laughs> he's good and young and he has star development. But at the same time, he's not on the team in real life anymore. So I don't know. I'm kind of mixed about this. I feel like I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section like, you got to trade Ronnie Harrison. But then here I am being like, I already started the franchise. We're going into week five. Ronnie Harrison is one of the best players on the entire team, which uh, seems crazy. But I mean, he kind of is as far as development and overall and age goes and all that i just don't want to get rid of him but this team's really awful i mean why would you trade him if you brought in joe Schobert and you paid him a lot of money i don't know man it's like their moves just kind of don't make sense it's like they thought oh maybe we're gonna be okay and then they got rid of fournette and they got rid of ronnie harrison I just don't know. I know they're going to be bad, right? But that one didn't seem to make a lot of sense for me. We'll go ahead and check out the news stories. Again, I'm unsure if I'm moving Ronnie Harrison or not. I'm probably going to record like three episodes back to back to back right now or something of that level. Maybe it's only two. Maybe it's four. But either way, that'll put us at week eight uh, at the very latest probably, which uh, you can still trade up to that point. So I'll read the comment section on this episode. You got to tell me, do you want Ronnie Harrison do you not? Do you not care? Subscribe if you're new either way or if you're not subscribed. But um, I kind of don't want to check out receiver that much. Like if there are some great receivers, yeah, maybe. But we're going to focus on the secondary in this episode maybe. And Brandon Jeffers in the second round. He's got good pursuit, good zone coverage. Catching's pretty high as well. Late first round guy, but he's got good size, 6'4", 207. Somebody to keep an eye on maybe. A lot of second round safeties. Lindsey Dunn doesn't even look that bad either. Have to see uh, like what his variables are, like his intangibles. Uh, speed, athleticism, that sort of thing. High hit power. Zone coverage looks good. Pursuit looks fairly good. But, uh, damn, is everyone just a second round safety? Enrique Hughes... Enrique Hughes looks like he could be very good. 6'2", 204, high hit power, high pursuit, play Rex a little high. And then Marlon Leslie seems to be quite good as well. So those are probably two players we're going to look to target just based on where they are uh, in the draft. We might be able to get them for kind of cheap. Let's check them out for strong safety uh, and where they actually sit in the whole class. So it looks like they're going to be at the end of the second round, somewhere in that range. So if we have... Our first second round pick, maybe it would be a good idea to take one of those two players. Enrique Hughes out of Texas. Hook him horns. Y'all know I'm a big Texas fan. So Enrique Hughes could be a guy we look to get. Free safety. Darnell Owens looks interesting with that man coverage up there. And we can only do one on Taj Sterling. But we did seem to find some pretty good players here in the second round near the bottom of the top 10 for strong safety. So and this is a great name, too. Storm Carmichael. How many Storms can you name offhand? I can name one. Storm Johnson, former UCF running back. But I don't know a whole lot of Storms, believe it or not. Even uh, with living in Houston, we got a Storm hurricane season. But there's a freaking fly in front of me. We're going to upgrade D.D. Westbrook. A lot of people wanted to see Colin Johnson play. And I want to see Colin Johnson play as well, former Texas Longhorn. So I'd like to get him involved in some way, shape, or form. But there's not a lot of space for him at wide receiver. As D.D. Westbrook at medium, I guess his medium route running up to 85. There's not a lot of space for him at wide receiver. So maybe at 6'6", six six, 222 pounds. Get out of here! I killed it. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be gross for you guys, but... On my hand, you can see that. Uh, disgusting. But yeah, as I was saying... Maybe it would make sense to move Colin Johnson, who is very clearly not face scanned into the game, if you know what he looks like, uh, to tight end. He'd be a little bit light for the position, but when you look at somebody like Evan Ingram, who's one of the lighter tight ends, I still think he has like 15 pounds on him. Evan Ingram is listed at 240. 
So, yeah, just over 15 pounds. Colin Johnson would be very light for the position. But if we want to get him any type of playing time, I feel like this is a position where he could thrive more. He's a nice overall now. Route running doesn't play as big of a factor. Run blocking is not even particularly low. So we could look to maybe upgrade him as a blocker. His blocking is really bad. But I think I'm going to go vertical threat for now and just improve the ability that he already has as a receiver and not really worry about run blocking so much. That'll come along on its own anyway. And then Trey Herndon unfortunately starts for us. I feel like we're going to stick to a lot more man. It just seems to be more effective. So we're going to upgrade his man coverage and we'll be more of a man style team. Plus four tackling. Interesting. Up to a 58. Not particularly good. Leon Jacobs up to a 70. But in this game, we play the Houston Texans. They are one and three, but they are also a lot better than we are right now. What's their team overall? 80 to our 78? I guess it's not a lot better, but it's going to be tough to shut down Deshaun Watson, as you can see pictured here. It's going to be tough to avoid J.J. Watt and some of the great players on the Texans defense, but we will see. Let's hop into it. All right, we are starting off returning. This is Boston Scott, or I hope it is, because that's what I've been calling him the entire series so far. We're going to start on offense. Chris Thompson had a very, very good game last week. The sliders have been adjusted a little bit to make uh, running the ball a little bit more tough. And we'll see what Gardner Minshew's capable of. we got to watch out for some of these players. A lot of really good guys on this team. As we're going to get it to LaVisca Chenault, the rookie playmaker. And we're also going to be looking to run our offense a bit more differently because bombing it up to LaVisca Chenault in one-on-one -on -one situations has proven to be a little bit ineffective as Chris Thompson takes a nice little handoff there for 12. So we're going to just look to, you know, get the ball in his hands underneath and watch him after the play, after the catch, during the play. And Chris Thompson fumbled the ball, recovered by J.J. Watt. We were getting something good going there. Chris Thompson was, you know, carrying our offense, and then he puts the ball on the turf. Unfortunate. Texans are going to take over from just before midfield here on the 43. Deshaun Watson with David Johnson in the backfield. New pickup by the Texans. And he is off to a pretty good start here. Run up the middle. That, was that Duke Johnson? That's definitely, yeah, it's, that's Duke Johnson. That's a junior. That's not David Johnson, is it? I think that's Duke Johnson. Hold on, we'll check the depth chart. Yeah, that is Duke Johnson. David Johnson is only a 77 right now. Just expected that to be him until I noticed the junior. But yeah, that is Duke Johnson as their starting running back. And he probably will play a lot. We want to run some man. So that's going to leave me against the running back, Duke Johnson, who's extremely elusive. But that's a nice tackle from Taven Bryan to limit that to only two yards. Run to the outside, cut back inside, and that's a big hit by Miles Jack. It's going to be third and six. And it is time to dial up the heat a little bit. Force Deshaun Watson to throw it a little bit more quickly than he'd like. We're responsible for Duke Johnson out of the backfield. And he is going corner of the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. No one picked up Kenny Stills. And the Texans are on the board first. 7 nothing. Yeah, we didn't really play a lot of defense that drive. So the Chris Thompson fumble set up a Texan score. Still a lot of time left as we try to see what we want to do with the football. Held on to that one for super long, but eventually found LaVisca Chenault. The middle of the field is open. That was picked up, though, on the slant. I think we can still throw it. Minshew finds D.D. Westbrook. He's outrunning Vernon Hargraves, and he's going to continue to outrun him all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. D.D. Westbrook ran a slant all the way across the field. Minshew found him on the run off balance and accurate. We're going to tie things up at seven. What a play. Oh, good read. That's a huge hit there, too. I believe that was Ronnie Harrison. Not even on the Jags anymore. But, yeah, I mean, just carving up zone coverage right now. We're running a lot of man, too, but it seems like the uh, Texans have the right play call for whatever we do, as that is picking up the screen. Good tackle in space by Miles Jack. Limits a potential big gain on the screen. Schobert up the middle. Oh, man, Duke Johnson got right past. Big hit again by Gerard Wilson, but that is a first down. Duke Johnson holds on to the football, man, unlike Chris Thompson. That's wide open. 
Another first down for the Texans. They are unstoppable right now. Up the middle. You got to make that tackle. There we go. Miles Jack is the only guy that likes to come out here and play. I got to stop using him because he's just too good when the CPU uses him. I got to stick on Quincy Williams like 90% of the time. Second and 10. Taking Duke Johnson. But that is wide open. And it's going to be a touchdown. Daniel Fells. Darren Fells. Daniel's his brother. I don't know why I thought uh, he was on the uh, the Texans. I guess it's uh, what da Darren. Daniel Fells is 36 and no longer active. He was on the Giants for a minute, but uh, yeah, screwed up the names there. My bad. I suck. Oh my goodness, I got blocked there. Duke Johnson, big gain. We're trying to blitz a lot, and it just isn't working. We got to figure out some way to stop Deshaun Watson because we can't beat the Texans in coverage clearly, and we don't really get any pressure when we blitz. So it's tough to know what to do because nothing works. It's not letting me blitz after Deshaun Watson there. He's going to take off. Break a tackle. It wouldn't let me blitz. It was wide open up the middle. I tried to run down, and he just wouldn't let me. What is that? Can, why can't I control my player? Come on. I can't cover that. I can't cover everybody. Joe Schobert, big hit. Watson had, uh, has yet to throw an incompletion, and they haven't even been particularly hard throws. We're just leaving everybody open. Run to the right. Got to track that down. There we go. Got an animation that time to hold Duke Johnson. But he's averaging almost seven yards per carry. Like, we're getting abused. Watson throws it out of the back of the end zone. Probably could have scrambled and gotten the first down, if not more. But we at least hold the Texans to a field goal here. It's going to be 17-7. I think this is a chip shot. Pretty much no way he misses this one. Yep, 17-7. How is that intentional grounding? How? How is it? There's a receiver in the area. How is that intentional grounding? <laughs> That's a bad call. There's a receiver in the area. It's not what intentional grounding is, man. Is it still broken like it is last year? Or like it was? Can't fit that ball in there. But it's going to be an arm punt if they pick it off and they don't. The intentional grounding, not intentional grounding, screws us. Throwing back across, couldn't get back there and make the hit. It's another completion. I mean, I feel like some of these are on me. They're throwing over the middle of the field. But it, it's so tough when I'm sitting in a hook zone to cover, you know, three different routes that go across that area. It's uh, super tough. It's a delay. Duke Johnson shut down on the draw, only picked up one. That's a user pick, baby! Took it away that time, and look who it is! It's Ronnie Harrison! Deshaun Watson trying to chase him down! User pick, easy reads! Green eggs and ham! No, we're caught at the three! But Ronnie Harrison with, with a potential game-changing, game-saving interception, because it would have been a touchdown. It would have been 24-7 to in favor of the Texans. But no, we're looking at potentially even 17-14 best case scenario. Throw it up to Colin Johnson. He's got that 6-6 frame. The wide receiver at Texas now converted tight end. And he just couldn't call it in. Couldn't haul it in. Thompson up the middle. Why am I getting a weird animation? You had the hole. Looking for anybody. Let's go with the size. Tyler Eifert. Runs out of the end zone, we get one. Where's the forward progress there? Did he not catch the ball in the end zone? Let's take a look. I think he came out. That is no good, but let's take another look. Minshew. No one was really open on this. We took our best option, and Eifert... I mean, he does catch that in the end zone. When did he really have possession? Probably, like, here. Maybe even here. I mean, that... That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown, but he runs out of the end zone. Should have been a touchdown already. I guarantee you a challenge, if we can even challenge here, is not going to do anything. They're going to put the ball on the three. But it's the second half. We're on the three-yard line. I don't know how impactful those timeouts are going to be. Uh, we can lose one here in effort to get potential of uh, six or seven points. And they're just it's, they're not going to review it. So not that they're going to review it in the way it should be reviewed. 
Fourth and goal from a, from the three. Our drive goal is a touchdown. We're on the three yard line. Now a field goal would put us down by a touchdown. It is three yards to go though. We're at least going to look and see how they line up. See if anything might be open. We're just going to straight up block Chris Thompson. Or can we even do that? We can't. It's going to be an RPO. We couldn't get rid of the ball, man. We couldn't get rid of the ball. I tried to cancel the, the RPO, but that's the whole play design. I thought the play action would be fairly quick. It was not. That's on me. I just should have optioned to a different play. And um, it just didn't work. Didn't work out. Underneath, that's man coverage. CJ Henderson, the rookie, completely exposed. We can't run man. We can't run zone. I don't regret not taking the field goal there. Obviously, the result is not what we wanted. They blitzed heavily, and we just couldn't get the ball out. It is what it is. Here's David Johnson, and that's got to be a hold on 66. Bring this one back. Here we go. Go in the corner, and DJ Hayden just runs right by him. Even pressing X. I guess Fuller already turned the corner. It's going to be a Houston Texans touchdown. As what is happening in these past couple minutes, man. 78 yards. Watson to Fuller. Eifert quickly. There we go. There we go, Tyler Eifert. We need to capitalize here. We need to score before the half. Uh, a field goal honestly doesn't do us any good. If we are going to take the field goal, we should have taken it on a fourth down when we were stopped. It doesn't really do us much now, honestly. Third and 22 after a sack. No one gets even open at all. We have to stretch the field here. We're just going to throw it up. It's an arm punt. Doesn't really do us any harm there. It was third and 22. It, well, we couldn't, we couldn't make the tackle. And he returns it to the 36. And LaVisca Chenault making the tackle is injured. Come on, man. I knew what I was getting into choosing the worst team in the NFL for this franchise, but it sucks. Especially on all Madden. End zone. Touchdown. Kenny Stills with number two on the game. What happened there? <laughs> oh, that's super bad. They're going to review it, but what is there to review? Are they going to review the sign that says Kevin Johnson in the end zone? As if he's on the team still? Or has been on the team even recently? When's the last uh, time they changed the uh, end zone? Like graphics. Because if we take another look at it, it says Kevin Johnson. I don't know if it highlights every first round pick in there. I would kind of be surprised by that. Kevin Jansen. I'm, what am I even talking about then? I thought, I thought that was a... Uh, like different players on the team before uh, maybe I'm wrong I guess I'm wrong and I guess we'll keep running the ball as the entire comment section wants even though we're down 31 to 7 just gotta run the ball more like if we go down by, by three touchdowns running the ball doesn't really help at that point we're just chewing the clock on our own game we're gonna throw there Chris Thompson just get out of bounds. Six seconds. If we can somehow get points, that'd be amazing. I don't think we're going to be able to. I don't know how useful that timeout's going to be. Westbrook catches it down at the 39. Can Lambeau nail this? It's a long field goal. It's 56 yards. Get a little bit of wind. Not sure how much it's going to help here. We got to drill it. We didn't get full power, or did we? Kick is up, and it is drilled. Extra three points at the end of the half there. You'll take that with 17 seconds. We managed the clock really, really well. Now we're still down three touchdowns. But we had a full second half to maybe make a comeback. So we'll see if we can actually play some defense. Just sucks that every single team we play, the quarterback's going to have a career game against us. It's brutal. But I think they're going to actually be short of field goal range. We made some good tackles. They're going to be punting the ball. Probably not too happy about it. Here's Anger. Brian Anger, the Texans punter now. Kicks it deep to D.D. Westbrook. That one is out of the back of the end zone. We're going to start the ball on the 20. This is a huge drive. We need a touchdown. 
Oh yeah, LaVisca Chenault is now out for the game. Not great for us. And I, just, I couldn't make a decision in time. JJ Watt gets in there. Sacks us, and that's about the end of our drive. Shot the gap. Okay, we just need to wrap up. <laughs> we need to wrap up, man. This team does not tackle or cover well or do anything well. And I mean, we can't cover everything, man. We, there was just three guys who could have caught the ball there if I vacated that area. And of course, the underneath one hits. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Uh, we finally get to him. We sent, what, seven, eight? It's Kate LeVon Chason, the rookie out of LSU, making a nice play. Again, I'm watching Josh Allen exclusively on some of these. He just doesn't do anything. It's so stupid. Underneath. Couldn't wrap up with Jack somehow. They're going to get a field goal. They're going to make it 34-10. We're still not completely out of the game, but it's not looking good. It hasn't looked good for a while, if I'm being honest. J.J. Watts, X-Factor's back. What does he have to do to get that? One sack? I mean, it's not even that much because he had like a tackle for loss earlier and he lit up. Slant, Chris Conley. Oh, he caught it. That's great. It's his first catch of the game. We just haven't really had the ball that much this game either. It's a... Uh, Turnover by Chris Thompson at the start of the game hurt us quite a bit. Uh, taking two sacks on two drives hurt us as well. As we get it to Terry Godwin here. What is that? Like, oh, Bangle, you suck. How can you throw an interception in this game? Dude, what do you want me to do here? I have no control over this. Look at this. This is wide open. What is that throw? That's how is that accurate? He's on a fucking drag. It's like, oh, you switched on and let him up the field. I certainly didn't. <laughs> what is that throw? Ball was already in the air before I even switched on. And it, it, I, when I switched on, it took me that way. Why is he not throwing to the wide open field? on the drag instead he throws it up what do you want me to do this game sucks the difference is the opposing defenders play with superhuman supernatural abilities and mine don't that's the difference meanwhile Deshaun Watson one of the most sacked quarterbacks in real life not only because of his uh, bad offensive line he literally just runs into sacks and we can't seem to bring him down it's uh, this is brutal. I know it's. I'm complaining, 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 complaining. These are these are things I should be complaining about. This is bad. Field goal is good. Texans gonna go up 37 to 10. I mean, again, I keep saying it. I just feel like there's nothing I can do. This is just like what's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, I'm Lavisca Chenault back in the game. That's nice. But I can't even throw a drag. Minshew's not even accurate on a drag. We have room to run. Vanilla Vic. Merch link in the description if you want some Vanilla Vic stuff. I wish I was wearing it, but uh, I'm not right now. But you can go check it out. It's uh, pretty affordable. I made it cheaper than um, what the average merch price is on there per item. So it was more affordable for you guys. So if you get it, uh, I thought that was a good thing to do. And um, yeah, it'd be, be really cool if you guys would get some of that. A lot of you are, already have been. So I can't wait to see the tweets and the... Uh, Instagram things of you guys getting those items and uh, yeah, maybe I'll even follow some of you guys back Chris Thompson and That's a lot of patience on that screen. It just might be too little too late. We're down by 27 It's gonna be really tough That's a face mask. I'm gonna need an extra 15 on the end of that Maybe we just have to target Vernon Hargraves because he's been getting torched the entire game our one touchdown of the game was uh Vernon Hargraves getting torched. So maybe we just have to do more of that. First and 10 from the 27. I tried to get rid of the ball. It is not letting me throw it away. I know I have the underneath. I just have to take it, I guess. I just have to take the underneath throws. No matter what. And then I get the comments. Oh, you missed this one deep across the field. We can't throw it deep across the field. 
LaVisca. Oh, look at the speed. Doesn't look like an Achilles sprain. Third and five. We're going to throw it up. Chenault. He actually... He caught it out of bounds? There's no way. There is no way, man. We finally catch one in traffic. And they're saying he was out of bounds. I'm going to freak out. I can't get anything to go my way. Tell me he got two feet in. One... Did he get the left foot down? Impossible to tell. It looked like he lifted it up for no reason. And uh, he lifted up. And that is going to be standing. Incomplete. Fourth and five. We clearly have to go for this. A uh, field goal does us no good. Rolling out. Do something. Minshew, you gotta be fast. We gotta throw it on the run. Conley, go up and get it. Touchdown. They left him. I was prepared to scramble and make it close, but they left him. We had two receivers in the area and only one DB. Usually the DB would be able to make a supernatural play on the ball, but this time Chris Conley got in front of him, caught it, and did I miss the extra point? Not, not that it matters because there's a flag because this happens every play. I got a second chance. I rushed that. I thought it was going to be way faster. Lonnie Johnson. Love it. We'll see if I miss this one. All I have to do is pay attention. That's the difference. I just got to pay attention. I mean, we're we're going to lose this game. We're down by 20. Not like it's going to make a huge difference, but... We have to onside kick it now. And just hope we get it. Even though these are really tough to win. He just, he just caught it off the ground one-handed. We have to keep him out of field goal range, which means we have to just blitz heavily and keep him out of the end zone. I, it has me locked! It's a touchdown. Duke Joe, I mean, it, it isn't. It's close. <laughs> I don't know what these animations are or what goes on in this game, but I had the edge contained so well, and then it just locked me in, and I couldn't move. Bring down Watson. Thank you! Quincy Williams. We need the football. We need a turnover. Schobert against the tight end. And that's a touchdown. What are you doing? How it... I don't even know what to tell you, man. I mean, he just... He just, like, dipped so that play was open. Over the middle. Eifert. Ball is late. Couldn't catch it. <laughs> Oh, man, dude, I don't know. Am I just making bad reads or something? Probably. We're running the same play here. Touch pass. There we go. Eifert dropped the ball. Fourth and ten. Just verticals or whatever. On the run. And it's inaccurate. For Chris Thompson, it's inaccurate. That's a first down right there. Picked off C.J. Henderson. You got to outrun Deshaun Watson. Thank you. C.J. Henderson picks six. It's a nice play. We're not going to showboat or anything. We're down 44. Now make it 24 from 17. C.J. Henderson with a pick six. I don't know what Deshaun Watson doing there. He threw it just right to him. We'll take it. Down by 20. I mean, looks like they're probably going to throw here. Unless it's a random QB draw, which I kind of doubt. Trying to cover every base. Watson rolling out. He throws it away. I was trying to destroy him. I mean, I guess we're technically not out of it, but we are out of it. That's a face mask again. A lot of penalties, man. Bradley Roby yanking at the face mask of D.D. Westbrook. That should stop the clock, right? Because of defensive penalty. Yes, yeah, so we get an extra two-minute warning here, which is uh, kind of nice. Let's figure out where we want to go with the ball. Underneath. Probably underneath. Nope. Nah, why is it airmailed? Minshew! Again, not like we would have done anything. But, like, it's it's uh, Justin Reed on the, the pick six. Tyler Eifert is wide open. 
A good run by Chris Thompson. It's going to be a touchdown. Unreal. I don't know how he found the space there, but we did. Chris Thompson with a breakaway touchdown. Unbelievably, his 10th career rushing touchdown. He might even have more receiving touchdowns in his career than rushing touchdowns, but I, I doubt it's that many. We're going to make it 51-31, uh, but it is too little too late. So that's going to do it for the game. We're going to lose by 20 here. We'll go over the stats, uh, although, again, I just feel like there was nothing we could do with a lot here. It was whenever we were driving, we managed to turn over the football, and I felt like a lot of those picks were not my fault. Just like crazy inaccurate throws randomly for no reason. Uh, under like the lightest pressure possible, he was he made an under pressure throw. It was inaccurate. It was picked off. I think we had what three picks. I don't. I didn't like a lot of them. <laughs> At least two out of the three picks, I I think were unwarranted. Still threw for almost 250. Duke Johnson rushed for 172 yards on us. And you look at the final numbers there for Chris Thompson. The breakaway carry really helps those out. He didn't average 10 yards per carry. It's tough to continue to run the ball when you're down by 20 and 30 points as it gets later in the game. You got to pass to get back in it. And he fumbled at the uh, start of the game too. But uh, yeah, the breakaway rush made it look like it was a much better game for him. Kenny Stills dominated. Will Fuller had 169 yards and two touchdowns. Nice for him. I mean, the, the, we were dominated. We couldn't stop anything. We couldn't stop anything. It was tough. Sacks for Caleb on Chase on Quincy Williams and CJ Henderson, who also had a pick, which he returned for a touchdown. Ronnie Harrison with an interception as well. No forced fumbles or anything like that. But this was a tough game because I just felt helpless out there. This team really showed how bad they were. We'll deal with the upgrades in the next episode. But that is going to do it for me here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed as we were crushed. 51-31. And I'll see you for week six against the Lions as we look, thing, or look to turn things around. It's a bad team. And we are, we are showing how bad it is. So we fall to two and three. Last in the division. And uh, the Lions could be tough. But we're getting DJ Chark back. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you're new for more uh, pain. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.